Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual Basic Exercises for Beginners. In this exercise we are going to create a small application called Rental Cost. We are to write a program that displays rental table in a list box and an invoice in another list box when appropriate button is clicked. The bill should include a $30 deposit. So here is the table. The company sells three products, rack cleaner, lawnmower and paint sprayer and rents the equipment for half a day or full day. Half a day costs 16, 12 or 20 dollars respectively and full day costs 24, 18 and 30 dollars. And if you notice the full day costs 50 percent more than the half day. So if a half a day for lawnmower costs 12 dollars then full day costs 50 percent more. So 12 plus 6 equals 18. Paint sprayer again costs 50 percent more for full day 20 plus 10 equals 30 and rack cleaner 16 plus 8 equals 24. So we don't need to really calculate a full day price, we'll simply add 50% to half a day. So this is our form, you can see that we have two buttons, one that displays the table in the list box and another button that displays the invoice. The user selects item 1, 2 or 3 and the duration H for half a day, F for full day and we will calculate the invoice. Remember there's also $30 deposit that should be included in the invoice. So here I am in Visual Studio 2015. Here's my form and we can start coding. I'll double click the display rental rates and that's the button that will display the table. So we will simply add lines to our list box to form a table. So LST rental dot items dot add and we will add the header. The header will say, if you look at the table again, you can see that it has header that says place of equipment, half a day and full day and then the free product with the prices. So we're going to mimic that in our list box. So we will simply add the header first. So let's do the price of equipment and after that we can concatenate VB tab to kind of format it. In fact, let's add two of them to make a little space between the headers. And the next one, we will add the half a day. And the next one, again, we will add a tab and full day. So this is our header. And now we can add the actual product and the prices. So again, we will do LST rental rates dot items dot add. And this one is the rack cleaner. That's the first one. So rack cleaner, we will add two tabs and we will add the half a day cost which is going to be $16 and once again we will add tab and we'll add full day cost which is $24 and we will add the two other products exactly the same way as we did the first one. Alright so let's run it and see if this works okay. So when I click the display rental rates I should display the table in my list box and here it is you got the uh, headers and the products and prices for half a day and full days. All right, so the next thing, we're going to display the customer bill. So I'm going to double click the button and go to the event handler for the display bill button. The first thing we need to do, we have to make sure that the input is correct. So the valid input is the three items. So our items text box should only hold one, two or three as an input. And then there's duration, which is half a day or full day and the user should enter H for half a day or F for full day and everything else is invalid input. So we're going to do an if statement and we're going to validate that the user entered correct product which is only one, two or three. So it could be any of them but no other numbers are accepted. So our txt item dot text should equal one or it should equal two or it should equal three. Now, even though we are accepting numbers, one, two, or three, we're not going to perform any calculations against these numbers. So we can keep them as string and simply validate that the user entered a string value of one, two, or three. So this is for our uh, items. And now for the duration is H or F. So one of these has to be true and one of the H or F has to be true. So a txt duration, that text should equal H or it should equal F. However, if the user enters lowercase h or lowercase f, we will get an error, but it's actually still a valid input, or it should be. Uh, we shouldn't force the user to make sure that the user enters capital H or capital F. Instead, what we're going to do, we're going to use the to upper. So we will convert the text to upper, 
and to upper 40F as well. So even if the user enters a lowercase h or f, it will match the capital H and capital F because we are converting the text to upper. All right, so if all this is true, then we have a valid input. If one of these conditions is false, then the input is invalid and we can do an else statement. So if the input is invalid, we will display a message box warning the user that the input is not valid. So we will do message box that show and we can display something like please correct your input and as a caption for the for the box we can do invalid input and we can use just the message box button for OK. Alright so that's if the input is invalid. If it is valid we go to our if statement and perform the calculation. So the first thing I'm going to create some variables and the first one is going to be a constant called deposit and it equals 30. That's the deposit that is constant uh, as the exercise wants us to have $30. Now the next one is going to be item and duration and this is going to be a string and another one is going to be item cost which is going to be a double and with this we can perform the calculations. First we need to get the input so our item equals txt item dot text since it's a string no conversion is needed and our duration equals txt duration dot text but we convert it to upper. Again just if the user enters lowercase h or f it will validate the input as valid. So now we can decide what item was selected. If the user entered one then it's a rack cleaner, if the user entered two it's a lawnmower and three it would be paint sprayer. So we can use a select case and we are determining the item. So if the case is uh, one then our product or our item equals rack cleaner and our cost equals and this is for the half a day again remember the full day is simply adding 50% to a half a day so we don't have to go and determine if it's a full day this is the price and this is a different price for half a day we'll simply find out if it's a full day or half a day and the price will be calculated easily by adding 50% uh, if it's a full day so our item cost equals 16 that's the half a day cost for a cleaner if our case is 2 then the item is a lawnmower and the half a day cost for lawnmower is $12 so our item cost equals 12 and finally if the case is 3 then our item is the paint sprayer and the item cost is 20. Alright so now we determine the item and the cost now we simply have to find out if the user wanted a half a day or full day so we will simply do an if statement for the duration so if our duration equals f so if the duration is for full day, we'll simply add 50% to our item cost. So our items cost equals items cost plus, and we'll add the 50% by multiplying the items cost by 0.5 or 50%. And we can assign the duration a value of full day. Else, if it's not a F, then it's an H for half a day and then we don't have to do anything with the items cost it's already set in our select case method we'll simply set the duration to equal half a day all right so this is all the calculations we need so after the if statement we can add the values to our bill list box so our lst bill dot items dot add and we'll add the header first that will simply say receipt for your equipment rental so that's just the header let's add a blank line after that and now we can add those values so our lst dot bill that items that add and we'll add the item it will simply say let's say lawnmower so our item and we will add the cost so we'll concatenate and we will do the items cost and we will format it to currency so to string sc Maybe two decimal places. After this, we can add whether it's a half a day or full day rental. So we will add simply the duration. So it'll simply say something like lawnmower, and let's say cost is uh, 12 and a half a day. So on the next line, we can add the deposit. So lst bill that items that add, and we'll simply say deposit. And again, we'll concatenate the deposit cost, which is our constant. So we'll deposit that to string 
and again it's going to be a currency with two decimal places and let's add another blank line before we display the final total lst bill dot items dot add and we will say total and we will add the total now the total will simply equal the items cost plus the deposit so we will add that together in a parentheses items cost plus deposit so the deposit is thirty dollars and the result of this calculation or addition we will convert to string to currency with two decimal places like we did before all right so let's run it so if i click this i have the table and let's say the user enters two and lowercase h so it's a loan mower for half a day so we got a loan mower for half a day plus deposit is 30 total is 42 30 plus 12. if the user wants full day what happens now can you guess well it will display it correctly you can see it's 48 dollars for 18 dollars for a full day but uh it just adds to it it doesn't clear the list box so before our if statement in our button click event I'm going to clear the list box so LST bill that items that clear so if I run it now and again let's just select two and a half a day you can see that it's correct and if I select full day now it just clears the list box and displays the new information now if I select something else instead of H and F let's say T I get an incorrect input please correct your input it's invalid input the same if I enter let's say four and have the valid input for duration I still get the correct your input it's only one two or three that is uh, available for us to enter and the calculations you can see for free it's paint sprayer which is full day so thirty dollars for full day thirty dollars deposit sixty dollars total okay I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next video